Snow banks, almost ten feet high. It wasn't unusual to find some cars sticking out of snow, like monoliths. Sometimes they look like gravestones. She would have been lucky to have only lost a finger. From the looks of it, she would have been lucky to have had a quick death. Glass and frozen blood trailed off around her. It was my job to find out what they pointed to, or who. Her body was as cold as the ice around her, maybe colder. Her blood was painted around the interior, and there was a large pool of red, frozen to the cracked faux leather car seat. Gun lay next to where her body had been. Seems she pulled it from the glove box. It must have crashed into the wall of snow while she was distracted. But from the broken taillight, she may have been pushed to her fate. The girl still sat lifeless in my thoughts long after I met her. She almost looked familiar through the shards of glass. It made me start for a second. I thought she was. Do we have an ID on the body? No, our Jane Doe is still Jane Doe. Couldn't match any prints. Her teeth were filed down, fingerprints sanded off, and the accident left no possibility for 100% identification. She was pretty beat up. Doesn't sound like an accident anymore. Not to me. Not at all, but I was looking into some case files and there's been some similar incidents before. More ladies, more car crashes. The girls, same sort of build and age, but where do we go from there? I know a gal that used to be down with guys with a similar M.O. I had to give her a call. What are you standing around for? Just waiting for you. So what do you know about the girls? Not sold out. You never know who's watching. What is happening to these girls? They're trying to escape. Return to a normal life. Escape? From who? Escape the eyes, detective. That surround them. You should know plenty about that. I'm not here to mess around. Do you want to be arrested for obstruction of justice? You and I both know this is the end of the line. I wouldn't emerge from the shadow for no reason. What reason? To tell you to turn off this path. It'll only cause more pain, more murders, more death. You don't have to avenge everyone. You're not a hero. You're just a cop. It's my job. But how will you keep me safe? When it comes down to it, how will you keep anyone safe? I don't think I can keep anyone safe. She lay dangling. Unrecognizable from herself a week ago. She looked like she'd been in a car crash. But this was no suicide. It was a message. The bodies keep piling up. Well, it'll have to end sometime, even if we can't catch this guy, right? I hope. Did you give me the information from that cult? The I... The religious movement, you mean? Yeah, sure. Religious movement. How are they connected in this mess? I don't know. Call it a feeling. Or even a hunch. Do you have the address? Yes, but if they're as dangerous as you think, you have to stay smart. Okay? There is no playing it safe. To what do I have the pleasure of this visit? You know what? You've been filling the morgues with the bodies of your runaways. I don't know what you're saying. From my recollection, you put more bodies in the ground than a grave digger. Shut up! You think you own me, detective? I have all the cards. Well, good thing I have an ace up my sleeve. What is that? With all the eyes around town, you should know. Hey. I told you to get out of town. I can get in a lot of trouble talking to you. I fixed everything. No, you didn't. They used you, man. The girls that died. Didn't you notice? No, notice notice what? What? The girls look like your wife. It's all part of their plan. It's not, it's not possible. You didn't see the signs. The eyes that used you. The eye now has a martyr and they can't be touched. 
then you you look like the bad guy. I've I've gotta go. It's probably for the best.